All right, now we get to the uh, really good stuff. Actually, today was actually a pretty good day for projects, you know. Um, after a string of like very low TVL minor projects, we actually had some two good projects today. You know, this one, of course, FTM Crops Farmer, and the last one, which is Rubik, which is being processed right now. So, I don't know, it's a pretty good day. I, I've chosen not to buy Cosmic Finance, but I'm actually kind of tempted to. So, you know, we'll have a wait and see attitude because I'm still trying to buy up some more Titano. So, you know, I don't know. Of course, it may not matter because obviously everything's going to hell, you know, in a handbasket. You know, everything's going down. Crypto, I mean, crypto shouldn't be dropping this much because the markets aren't dropping that much either. And the bonds and dollar yields don't make sense either. Like this, like what's going on, you know? Yeah, everything looks pretty stable. It's almost, it's now 8 a.m. basically. Let me see. Yeah. So everything is down. Like, well, this doesn't make any sense. I guess we'll see. You know, Greg Manorino doesn't do his video for another hour and 20 minutes anyway. <clears throat> All right, so. Hmm. Hmm. So as you know, I'm all about the crops farmer these days. So this is obviously going straight into the playlist. Uh, and on top of that, I am saving up my Polygon, as usual, and AVAX. I, you know, I have, I have my presence in pretty much all the blockchains, right? All the major, all the major ones, except Kronos. Uh, oh, except Kronos, because, uh, I mean, you know how much I like to complain about you know gas fees so you know yeah but with that being said you know i know that they're going to do abax they'll probably do polygon as well so that that and that'll be set and then if they do any other launch you know we'll see i'll definitely cover it it'll probably be very good of course because at this point i don't have to worry about trust right we trust these guys well i trust these guys and they have this nice little graphic here right the spooky uh <laughs> spooky thief the phantom and yeah this will be launching in two hours and a minute and a half as of this video recording so if you actually are watching this uh, within the next couple hours you know you can get in basically the same time i do well not basically you will if you want to so my phantom is already ready to go i'm not going to say how much i wish i had a lot but obviously crypto's you know under a lot of pressure and you know if sphere wasn't so down i would have actually sold some sphere bought some phantom with it and then of course go even harder with this but you know i'm all right i'm i'm satisfied i'm not satisfied but i am somewhat content with my position because if i actually think about how much phantom i have i actually do have quite a lot of phantom believe it or not and i don't feel like i do because everything is like crap well, actually what is the value of phantom right now 70 cents, Jesus, this thing is our, God, I know it's 70.8 cents, but, man, everything's just getting killed right now, man, is that, is that fun, ugh, excuse me, I'm still a little, ugh, groggy, I still, uh you know, because I'm doing these videos early today, because I want to exercise, get, just get this over with, and on top of that, when FTM launches at 10 a.m., which is two hours from now for me, you know, I want to be the first person in. I'm also going to set my gas fee max limit to like probably one phantom. I need to make sure my ass is in here. Oh, yeah. So the next thing I want to look at is do I have to approve of anything? No, I just straight up put money in. There does seem to be some kind of maximum here, though. Min, max? Really? You're going to do me like that? Uh, okay. What does their Twitter say? Uh, uh, who's this guy? Do you have good products? All right, guys, welcome. So we did it. That Forex Shark interview. Crops Farmer, 500,000 APY. So he does cover some oh, crap coins of the week. That's pretty funny. Uh, the Animal Farm Migration. What? Integrity Farm, better than Bake Feeds, Crops Farmer. He doesn't do that many. He doesn't do that many videos. He is covering Helena, though. 
Yeah, he has some pretty good graphics on his site, too. Yeah, okay, I'm not going to whatever. I mean, he's got 22,000 subs. What the? Okay. Uh, new video by Grow My Bitcoin. Hey, everyone. He sounds uh, friendly. Let's see, what do you have? Cheesy Kitchen. You can, so, yeah, so he, he covers some projects that nobody else seems to be covering. 8%. Yeah, the problem is he doesn't do that many projects. Oy vey. Um, I don't know. I like to see someone who does a lot of projects, too. I mean, he, he is covering some projects I don't cover. Like, I never heard of grilled chicken. Hmm. Actually, that actually sounds pretty tasty. Fire and Collective, DeFi, okay, I don't know, he, he does have some good graphics, see, that's the thing, I, I, my channel would grow a lot, a lot too, if I did, like, graphics, but obviously I'm too lazy to pay for that, I guess, um, yeah, how, how do all these YouTubers actually do this, do they pay someone to do this, or do they do it themselves, I'm actually kind of curious, there's gotta be, there's gotta be something here, man, Multi-chain, uh, I don't know, alright, I'm not interested, fuck it, alright, uh, okay, well, I don't see anything about the max, so, that's gonna be kind of annoying, what's the max gonna be? Well, well, the max for B&B Crop Farmer was 25, the max for BOSD was based on your approval, well, I guess I don't have to worry about it, then. I'm sure he's going to make a pretty large number. I mean, he kind of has to, especially now that Phantom is going down in the tubes like everyone else. All right, so just like any typical crops farmer, you know, it's got everything that I could want, right? Which is why it's my number one. I mean, it's it's kind of tough because it's basically tied with BNB minor finance. And, of course, both suffer from dilution problems, right? Because everyone else is compounding. And I love how the truck or whatever, or the Lamborghini or whatever, is like super duper loud. So hopefully you heard whatever I was just saying now. So anyway, it has everything that I want. So 6% daily, right? It's got a compound bonus, which at first I was very against. But now that I've seen how badly I get diluted by everyone else compounding and then selling, uh, the 2% compound bonus barely helps you. <laughs> so it's not a problem anymore. You know, it's got a relatively low fee, right? 7%. Oh, yeah. Sorry. I want to make sure if anyone... Uh, what's my referral link? Where's my referral link? Okay, let me switch to Phantom real quick. Actually, I do want to be switching to Phantom because I'm not doing anything else anywhere else. Really? That's all the Phantom I have. I thought I had way more than that. Uh, okay, hold on. So, uh, doing the video now and going into playlist. Okay, so you can only stack your rewards for 48 hours. Believe it or not, I would actually not even recommend doing anywhere near that. I would wait maximum 24 hours because I finally have re re withdrawn my 24 hours worth of rewards, at least on BUSD. Holy crap. In the time that you're accumulating your rewards, you're getting diluted like crazy. So, yeah. There's a mandatory five-day compounding. So, which is what this is, right? 12-hour compound timer. I actually think you might actually need to do 6-1. Like, you might actually need to compound six days a week. Um, I don't know. I'll have to take a look. Uh, actually, let me take a look right now. Because, obviously, I've only been doing this barely a week for Crops Farmer, and I'm still observing. Uh, but my di my share dilution is pretty insane. I mean, BUSD is already up to 1.45 million, so I can't compound for another 40 minutes. Yeah, I'm not telling you how much my daily yield is, but I've already lost almost eight dollars worth of daily yield. 
All right, and it's only barely been 11 hours and 20 minutes. All right, I'm still waiting for 40 minutes. So the number of farmers is 1191. Yeah, that dilution is pretty nuts. It's pretty nuts. I've already compounded one time too. Holy crap. So, yeah. So, yeah, share dilution. But, I mean, on the other hand, share dilution is good because, again, it keeps the protocol sustainable. So, that's, I mean, again, that's why you have, like, a bunch of different projects, right, and diversify a little bit. There's an 80% early uh, tax for withdrawals. So, you know, really, really dumb to just withdraw early. All right. So, obviously, this hasn't launched yet, right? we got, like, two hours to go. There is a min and max, so I don't know. I'm hoping it's going to be a pretty large number, like 10,000, 20,000, right? Because I really don't want to have to do two deposits into this project because, you know, basically what's going to happen is on like the first like three seconds, contract balance is going to shoot up. I want to catch all that alpha, right? And then after that, I mean, I don't want to have to do a second one, you know? So uh, we'll see. And obviously I'm going to set the gas fee. Let's see. Yeah, gas fees are very cheap. So hopefully it remains this cheap for the next two hours. And then when this project launches, obviously gas fees are going to be through the roof. So... I'm definitely going to uh, manually edit my gas fee to be a lot higher than normal. And like if I have to, I might actually spend like one and a half phantom just straight up. So, you know, which isn't that much. That's like a dollar and five cents. That's that's nothing. I spent I spend more now still on AVAX gas fees than I do phantom. This Krabata game is just, you know, being a bunch of selfish pricks. So yeah, so anyway, uh, I'm going to keep this video short. It's 12 minutes. I said everything I needed to say in the last video, so you just watch the Rubik Finance video. Uh, but aside from that, I mean, we don't need to read any of this because it's the same as everything else. There does not, again, appear to be a tax. So I would like to think there's a tax in this, but you know what? He's going at 6%, and it's already, like, diluted. Your, your, your share rewards get diluted like crazy anyway, so whatever. I don't really care. So I might have to consider doing 6-1. I'll have like another four or five days to think about it, right? And then I'll just watch. You know, I'll just watch. I'll just watch what happens with uh, my income levels. So like, subscribe, share this video around. Uh, thank you again to all the new and old people watching uh, this video. And of course, if you like what you saw, you know, Throw me a tip through the super thanks, right? You know, just give me a little bit of money, even if it's just a penny. Believe it or not, I actually would like a penny, right? Because, you know, if you have like a hundred or a thousand of you, that's a dollar to ten bucks. That's actually a lot, right? G given that all I do is I just, given that all I do is I like just throw up a video, turn on OBS, hit record, and then that's it, you know? So, yeah. But anyway, check out FTM Crops Farmer. There's no affiliate link, of course, as always. So, yeah, but yeah, very excited, very happy, thank God, because we need, I need a stable mining project across all of the blockchains that I want to be in. So there's Polygon, uh, AVAX, Phantom, and Binance Smart Chain. I think I would also be okay with Harmony as well. They have very cheap uh, thingies. Uh, it's just that their TVL isn't like the greatest. Yeah, they're down at 97. Yeah, I mean, they're below 1 million market cap now. My, cover, my camera's covering it, but this is market cap. So, yeah, but, you know, what are you going to do? Crypto is just under a lot of hits. So, that's the weekend, too. Today is Friday, going into the weekend. So, now we get a double whammy. Yeah, it, it's just uh, it's just not looking good for crypto right now. Um, yeah, I mean, at this point, I think... Like the Western, the Western governments are just so evil right now. They're just like screwing everything up. So I don't know. We're gonna have to hope for a miracle at this point. But the show must go on, and crypto will still be around. But it would be nice if uh, you know it could stop jerking around. You know, especially the stock markets. I don't like like what's taking like like why is it like I mean I know what it is right, but I'm just getting impatient. It's all but whenever this stupid correction's over, then it's over, right? You know, but I don't know. Maybe things really are changing for the worse. I don't know. Greg hasn't uh, seen any red flags yet. That's what he's been saying. So, I'll see you all... Oh, tomorrow's Saturday. So, 
Uh, I kind of want to take some time off, so... I don't know, I guess I'll see you all on Monday, unless something crazy happens, but... Since launches are so slow, right? I mean, we could probably wait till Monday, and then we'll have some content, but, you know, whatever. So enjoy the rest of your weekend, day or night today. Get in on Phantom Crops Farmer if you're interested, because I definitely am. I've been waiting for this. I've already been stacking the hell out of my reserves for this moment. In fact, I actually have a little bit of... Excuse me. Uh, I actually have a little bit of extra Binance coin, so I'm going to be funneling it over Phantom right now. So, uh, yeah, thanks. See you all tomorrow. Share this video around. Help me grow this channel. Push 1600. And uh, hit the super thanks, too. And tip me some money if uh, you like it. You know, even if it's a penny. All right? I don't even care. <laughs> I just like getting free money. Thanks.